Will programs like ChatGPT and other AI in general take away your job? Can it replace programmers or professionals like customer support, service, and content creation? Let's talk about it. First of all, what is ChatGPT? If you've been living under a rock and have not played around with ChatGPT, first of all, go and play around with it. It's incredibly impressive. But secondly, let me explain what it is to you really quickly. ChatGPT is a large language model developed by OpenAI. It's an algorithm that has been designed to generate human-like text based on the prompt that you give it. It's extremely user-friendly and has been trained on a huge amount of data from the internet. And companies like Google and Microsoft, at least at the time of this recording, are racing to test their AI chatbots in order to compete in the space. But back to how these AI developments could impact your job. Business Insider has recently posted an article with a list of 10 jobs that are most likely to be impacted or replaced by AI. Let's look at what roles have made the list and talk about it. So first of all, we have tech jobs, coders, computer programmers, software engineers, and data analysts. Then we have media jobs, advertising, content creation, technical writing, journalism. Then the legal industry jobs, paralegals and legal assistants in particular market research analysis, teachers, finance jobs, financial analysts, personal financial advisors, traders, graphic designers, accountants, and customer service agents. So let's get into it. Will ChatGPT and other AI replace your job? It depends. We have been moving in this direction for a while. Humans have been developing technology in order to automate and delegate certain jobs. As I'm writing the script, I'm also outsourcing laundry to my washing machine and the dishes to the dishwasher. My husband is using the vacuum cleaner to clean the floors faster and we will be using a car later today to go to the grocery store because walking there and back uh, would probably take us half a day. My point is that technology that we use helps to make our jobs and our lives easier. All of these devices, all of these, all of the software that we use, they're tools. Some of them are more advanced than others, some of them are more impressive than others. And yes, ChatGPT is incredibly impressive. It's revolutionary. And when revolutionary technologies have been introduced, historically, it has disrupted certain industries. For example, when cars were introduced and you know started being widely more widely adopted, carriage drivers had to learn how to drive in order to stay relevant in the same type of job of helping people get from place A to B. How quickly the disruption happens depends on the adoption curve of the technology. With cars, it took forever. It was a completely new concept and people were, nah, they did not want it. They wanted horses. AI isn't a new technology. We understand the concept. It's not foreign to us and in fact, there are other use cases for it already. We know how to use it and we're not afraid to play around with it to see how we can integrate it into our lives, into our jobs to make them easier. Plus these AI companies are making it incredibly easy to use. You no longer need to have a machine learning degree in order to implement it into your workflow. A child could use ChatGPT or other similar programs in order to generate a bedtime fairy tale for themselves. In fact, my first prompt on ChatGPT was to generate a fairy tale. But back to AI taking away your job and whether that's going to happen. So 10 years ago, back in 2013, Oxford University professor economist Dr. Carl Benedict Frey and professor of machine learning Dr. Michael A. Osborne published an article titled The Future of Employment, How Susceptibles Are Job to Computerization, in which they estimated that 47% of US workforce is at risk of being replaced by automation in the next decade or so. In this paper, they look at the history of technological advancements and labor disruptions and divide the different types of tasks that we do in a given job into routine and non-routine and then manual and cognitive. 
Using this distinction, they start looking at how technology started automating those routine and manual tasks. And now with the amount of big data that you can feed an AI algorithm, you can teach them more complex to solve more complex problems by defining the prob problem much better by giving them more data points to read from in order to understand, in order to frame the problem so that they can start recognizing all the different variables later down the line and solving that problem. All of that data helps to frame the problem by introducing a complex set of roles. Now, if you look at the list of roles that we have started this video with, there's something that a lot of them have in common. They have repeating tasks, repeating tasks that an AI can learn the rules of and with the right input, it can create the right output, the desired output for that role for those jobs. Disruption is coming for sure, but will those roles be replaced? Not necessarily, at least not now for now. Certain jobs might be augmented by AI. In fact, certain tasks will be replaced by AI. And your goal is to become that person who harnesses the power of AI in order to complete that job. Does that make sense? You have to become the AI trainer. I'm just thinking about circle. <laughs> I'm just thinking about tigers in the circus. You have to become the AI trainer at your job in order to make sure that you are coming up on top. I will share some tips on how to stay on top of it shortly, but for now, I want to note something that, that I found interesting from the article because it might provide a glimpse of hope for us and the humanity. So in that paper, the authors have mentioned that there are three types of categories of tasks that would be very difficult to replicate with a machine, with AI. And those categories are perception and manipulation, Perception meaning needing to use all the different senses and while machines sensors are becoming better, we still come on top there. Manipulation and in particular manipulation of irregular, unusual objects. Creative intelligence because we can come up with creativity while machines for the most part are fed a large sum of data, creative data, and they create an output based on that. So it's a, it's a replica of something that exists. Maybe they just mix and match and all that stuff. And you could argue that's how our creativity works, but still it's a slightly different process. Um, input, output, different. And then finally, social intelligence. Machines are not very socially intelligent, at least for now. And our social skills, negotiation in particular, you know, emotional intelligence, all of those things really set us apart from machines. <laughs> yeah, at least for now, based on how our businesses and societies are run, what are the social, you know, unspoken rules, etc. Um, who knows what the future holds for us? Maybe machines will be communicating between machines and no more social interaction will be needed. Let's not think about that. Hopefully I'll be dead before that happens. So how do you survive the age of AI? How do you ensure that you have job security in this new era that we're entering? I thought it would be funny to ask ChatGPT to write a script for this video, and I did. Um, it actually gave me a very nice structure and, you know, it was great, but I did not use it for multiple reasons. I enjoy creating my own content, plagiarism, blah, 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 blah. So I did not use it. However, it came up with some tips for you on how to stay relevant and how to ensure that you still have a job at the end of it. So I thought it would be very funny, in my head at least, to give you the tips that ChatGPT came up for you with, came up with for you um, on how to stay relevant in the era of ChatGPT and other AI. So to quote ChatGPT, Tip number one, stay informed about new technologies and how they are being used in your industry. Great tip, stay on top of what is coming up and how it is being used. If you're a content creator, think about, you know, look into how people are using it. If you are a programmer, look into how people are using it. Actively, proactively stay on top of how people are using this technology because you wanna become the trainer you want to harness, harness the power of AI before it 
harnesses your job. Tip number two from ChatGPT on the subject is focus on developing skills that are difficult to automate, such as critical thinking, problem solving, and creativity. Yes, we have created a list of categories where you can really excel. I would also add social skills in here. Yeah, that was not added. Really focus on those skills because that will set you apart when you're competing with machines. Oh my God, it's absurd that I'm saying this, but yeah, it's true. Okay, and finally, um, one more tip from ChatGPT is be proactive in seeking out new opportunities and learning new skills, whether through online courses or on the job training. Yeah, pretty standard, but it was fed all the data from the internet and th this is what it spit out. However, these are good tips and I just find it so funny that ChatGPT is giving you tips on how to survive ChatGPT. <gasps> I think it's ironic, so I decided to put it in this video. So yeah, that's ChatGPT's advice. Um, I would also add, make sure that you are focusing on those skills that really set you apart from the machines, uh, perception and manipulation, you know, specializing in those skills. If you're a doctor, yes, really specialize in that. Um, <laughs> creativity, social skills, set yourself apart from the competitions uh, the competition that machines are and become the trainer become like harness and i keep on just using my although i'm against animal cruelty but it's just like I, I really wish i had like one of those things right now this is for ai it doesn't have feelings okay so <laughs> um harness it so that's where my script ended and this is where I am um, just improvising right now because it's time to wrap up this video. We've covered a lot. I hope it was helpful. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments down below. What are your thoughts on where these developments are taking us? Are you scared? Are you excited? Are you already integrating it into your workflow? If yes, how? Super curious to find out. So let, let me know in the comments and yeah, let's just, let's just chat there. Like this video if you've enjoyed it and let me know if you want me to create more content on AI and chat GPT in particular and how it affects the job market, blah, 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 blah. Super curious to find out what you are interested in in terms of topics because I'm experimenting and this is one of those experiments. Share this video with a friend who is also anxious about the machines taking over the world. And uh, yeah, we can also be friends on other social media. You can find me as Stereotype Breakers. Have a wonderful time of the day you're currently experiencing. Bye.